after Oliver Wolcott. I know what you're thinking, and it's true. This Ford has char changed names more times than your high school band. I only had one name for my high school band, Sean. It was called Life As We Know It. That was it. You like to live on Goat Island, yeah. Well, then, you know, maybe you're... Sean's wrong. It'll be the first time. When I say the captain, I'll look him directly in the eyes and say, Sir, I am going home. I've had enough of these nonsense assignments. Okay, this one I actually do want stealth. I thought I was supposed to be undetected. chest here? There must be a chest there which I missed somehow. Ah. Darn it. Aha! That's how you get over there. Hey, Zader, what's up, man? Claptrap the Goat Island Hermit. <laughs> Good to see you, Zader. Higher up and blocked off. Yeah, I see it. There we go. 1250 Need more monies for that ship, you know. Who would ever attack this fort, I ask you? Nobody. No reason to. They sent us here because the captain did something wrong. Like what? Bugger if I know. I wager he bugger something. Come off it. And keep watch. Yeah, yeah. confused about that though up there okay how do I get there I get there from over there Which means I have to get up there right see what that guy's guard pattern is
Okay. That's another guy. Leaves this guy. Can I get to this guy without alerting him? Yeah, bot is down uh, at the moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be working out an alternative for it. Oh. Back here, bro. I had you. far away oh, okay okay I got it go over here and then it's uh-huh same as it ever was <laughs> exactly, Grand Blade, exactly. All right. Unfortunately, he's yelling a lot. Man, and I needed this coin too. I needed this coin. Big time. There's another reason to do this mission. Hey, what's up, fake chef? Well, welcome into the stream. I love him, too. <laughs> then you've got a friend in me, sir, because I like these a lot also. Welcome in, fake chef. That lurcher is out of his head. Who would do that to a man? That's why you don't let soldiers get bored. Shoot. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I think I screwed this up. Ah. Man, it would have been... Mm. You're not going to let me climb that? Really? Assassinations finished. Hey, what's up, Gilt? Good to see you, man. More money. You won't tolerate such behavior. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. He didn't mean anything but what he said. You get his soft. I don't think it's right. That around the corner assassination is so awesome.
What's his guard pattern? <laughs> Love Shaq. I don't know. I don't really totally buy into the hate. I gotta be honest. way yes ah thank you very much for the follow fake chef appreciate it man welcome to the Arvanauts appreciate it sir thank you yes 2,000 more gold welcome to the Arvanauts good to see you man thank you I haven't got much sleep, really. I see it. No personal hate. It lies under the eagle's bed. Uh oh. Let's oh. see what you got, Rebel. Fire! Yes, good timing. No problems. Ah, thank you. Well done, boys. Oh my god, this is reminding me of Thief. Oh god. Can we uh, change up weapons, please? Desynchronized. Oh my god. I don't know what just happened there. Oh god. How did I miss that? Uh, 2x1212. Oh, God. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. I have to kill these guys, really. What the hell? What am I dying from? I don't understand. Thank you very much. Um, I was in the fire again. Okay, I'm, I guess I guess that chandelier is the most OP chandelier of all time. I honestly didn't realize it.
Ah, bastard. The exit, boys. Uh, maybe thanks for the exit. That was an awesome mission. You're late, Captain. Those occupying the fort were less than thrilled by my presence. And? And what? The damn scroll, you muckworm. Was it there? That it was, Mr. Faulkner. Nice. That was an awesome mission. Yeah, I dug that. Should have gotten full sync on that. Yeah, full sync. Full sync. Thank you again for the follows, everybody. Sorry I, was, I couldn't uh, give it all the attention it deserved, but it's kind of in the middle of something that was going on. Cool. All right, what do you think, peg leg? Got some more? Let's have a look, then. That won't do it, boy. Oh, my God. Get some more, and then we'll barter. Okay, so I think I think that took care of the naval stuff for now. I like that mission a lot, actually. Open, 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 open. Cool. All right, that's fun. I'm I'm very pleased with the progress. Let's do it. Good times. Frontier time. Hey, Roix. What's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see everyone today. Hope everyone is doing well. <laughs> wow. There is a lot of stuff here. Uh... No, I don't want to do hunting missions. Um, Boston Brawlers, whatever. The devil is that? Frontiersman? Okay. Let's get this feather. And then we'll hit... Actually, no. You know what? We're going to go straight south. We're going to get these two viewpoints and then go on with the main story. So let's, let's do it up. Finally, the road turns that way. I was like, geez, man. How, mu how close am I? Closer to the freaking peg like thing. Alright, it's moving in that general direction.
Oh, horse stamina. Hello. Let's trade, peddler. All right, now I'm starting to get some money. Oh, rope darts. Inventory's full. All right, let's get poison dart. Okay, and trip mines. I think I'm maxed out on everything. All right, cool. Non lethal that will incapacitate enemies from a distance. Seems good to me. Trip mines, which I used to good effect in Thief. discovered in Johnstown. That's great. You know what I don't care about? Are hunting and hares. Oh, please don't tell me it's... Uh. Great. Oh. Hi. You've been following me. That's great. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much. Because apparently I don't understand what distance is. Look, the very easy road. Wait a minute. I don't, I don't care about feathers. Alright. Let's get over here. Thanks, horse. Hang out here. Ah, Boston Light. That's the Boston Lighthouse, I assume. This was the first lighthouse in North America built to help guide ships into Boston Harbor at night. Of course, they made it a prime target for the revolutionaries during the siege of Boston. They attacked and build burned the building. When the British began to repair it, they returned and burned it again. Of course, the British did them one better. When they left Boston Harbor in 1776, they blew up the entire lighthouse behind them. It was a very confusing time to be a lighthouse fan. Do I like them? Don't I like them? I felt the same way about light jazz. A new lighthouse was built in 1783, so it persists and survives despite all efforts to destroy it. Much like light jazz. Ooh, shots fired. Shots fired. Anyone who likes light jazz? That those shots were fired directly at you, peoples. Where's my conveniently placed hay bale? There it is! No, no! Okay, I guess that feed... Um, that feed wasn't a haystack. I was just letting you all know that 
if you're ever synchronizing in Assassin's Creed and you see what you think is a hay is a pile of hay, make sure you double check it. Cause it might not be. I'm just saying. You can you can never really tell these things to be sure unless you're specially careful. So I didn't want you guys to find yourselves in that situation. And so I that's that's why I had to do things that way. So now you guys know. And uh yeah. You, you might not have known otherwise, so now you guys know. Okay. Wow, I got a lot of recipes there. Damn, man. Boots, eye drops, crates. Barrels, paper, bear rugs, twenty five hundred. That was like the mother load of chests right there. And knowing is half the battle. Welcome back, Adam. <laughs> Do a battle roll. Battle. Oh god. What the f? Okay, it's a dog. Do a barrel roll. Whoa. This is the thing? Okay. My first viewpoint on top of a massive tree. Oh, crap. Climbing trees. Hey, what's up, Cherubi? Sure, go ahead, clap. That's fine. Understand where I'm supposed to go here. What? What? No. How do? Mm. What's up, Snip? Good to see you, Snip. What's up, man? Fortunately, it's right there. I, I still want to know what I don't. I don't. I don't get what I'm. I don't get what I'm missing there. But hopefully, I'll figure it out. No, yes, yes, exactly, exactly what I meant to do. That's not it. In the guess where the game wants you to go. Yes. Rain will make this infinitely easier. Thank you. Are you kidding me?
Again, this is exactly where I've been stuck all the other times. Where am I supposed to go here? Good to see you, Snip. What? I don't get it. Oh, there? Alright, hold on. Turn this way. I am utterly bamboozled. I have no idea how to get up there. You buffer every three minutes? Sorry, Adam. That sucks, man. I don't know what to tell you. Can you not even check it out on mobile, Adam? Are you not even able to check it on a mobile app? See, that's where I'm supposed to get to, but I have no idea how to get there. That... why... That right there. No, not, 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 no, not, no. Not leaping to my death, actually. I'd like to... No, that's not what I was trying to do. very confused, but I'm obviously missing something, so... I don't get it. Ah, this is so sketchy. Come on. Game. Let me climb the freaking tree. Don't. Why? It's tremendous. Thanks, game. Okay. Climb this side. This is really ridiculous. Oh, God, what? This is obviously where I've got to go. Climb over there. <clears throat> and then I climb here. 
and then for some reason I'm stuck. And that right there is where I need to go, but I have no way of getting there, because of course. What's up, Burner? Yeah, who wins the viewers is right. I have no idea. I, I don't have any idea what's going on here. Like, that's where I need to go. I don't have any idea. If anybody has any suggestions about something I might have missed. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Desynchronized. Oh, my God. Somehow I didn't die. I mean, I assume I have to go up to it on this one standing huge tree, right? Oh, my God. Just... Right. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's exactly what I wanted to do is jump right off the branch. Yes. Again, exactly what I wanted. I love how Connor can freaking climb every single building in Boston. No problems. But when it comes to trees, which he's apparently been climbing his entire life, he has no idea what he's doing at that point. It's obviously the way up. And then here's where it all breaks down. And I go here. And and now I'm stuck. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm not stuck. You freaking kidding me? Alright, at least I know that there's a way to go further in that at that point. This tree has been the most OP thing in the game. Infiltrate a fort? No problem at all. Take out, you know... Take out 30 revolutionaries? I do that for breakfast. But freaking climb a tree? No. Now that, that will not stand. Hour of zero, tree Why? What? What is that? Why would I ever do that? It's most difficult to navigate tree. Nerf this tree. This tree is open. Oh my god, let me get up on the tree. No! No! Why would you do that? Why would you... I'm climbing this damn tree. That's all there is to it. I'm climbing this tree. Freaking... I think this tree is a Templar. You know, this tree isn't a this tree isn't a birch. 
This tree's not an elm. This tree's a Templar. It's a Templar tree. I bet it's got a golden apple on top of it, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it really is. It's just like... <laughs> See, I don't know. Also, the camera is really great here. A really tremendous, tremendous camera work. God, man, what are you doing? You can't possibly expect me. Okay. Tree! Down goes the tree. Yes, leap of faith! I did a leap of faith off of the tree. Tree conquered. That tree will bother no one again. Never again will that tree bother anybody. I've taken the tree down. I called upon the spirit of my people to do it. Connor. I can climb a tree. <laughs> Alright. I have felled a mighty tree. That's right. What's up, Mercurius? Yes, I have indeed. Yes, I have indeed. Alright. Alright, back to the story. A lot of good side mission stuff today, which is cool. Now it's time for some story. Excuse me. That same tree as every other viewpoint? Oh god, Crip. Well, I defeated it once. I can defeat it again. <laughs> convenient pile of leaves is convenient. <laughs> the next stage. Aqua. I know, the boss tree is like a larch. You know? The boss tree is like a copse of trees. Like, oh. I have to fell the mighty oak. Like, the final boss is an ent. All of a sudden, like, Assassin's Creed 3 was just a dreamscape. Actually, the real game is freaking fighting and climbing and fighting trees. How far away is this freaking marker? Oh, okay. Miss McGillicuddy's laundry. I hear they stole ten free ships back, cargo and all. Ah, all right, what's going on, Sammy? Hutchison refuses to let them leave. Wants us to take tea party.
What happens now? We wait for the wow, signal. Wow, really, Adam? Sucks. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? Yeah. That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Convenient. Boston, December 16th, 1773. I bet you could clap. I love Boston. Say the world, Connor, and I will make it so. Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty was the name given to a number of protest groups that formed to protest the Stamp Act and stayed together afterward, organizing anti-British rallies and enforcing boycotts in the lead-up to the revolution. It was like a friendly club for angry men. <laughs> Although the groups had later become more coordinated, they started separately. Sons of Liberty was the usual choice for a name because it was a popular phrase meaning colonist at the time. As you might predict given the name, the sons were mostly middle class and, yes, male, merchants, lawyers, and politicians. Uh, Paul Revere was likely a member of the Boston group, to give you an example. The sons and all of the colonies weren't above using violence and intimidation to get their way. Who was? They threatened all of the stamp distributors into resigning, with the Boston group going so far as to destroy the local distributor's offices and parade him through town before he quit in a very public and likely terrified resignation speech. Given that, it probably won't surprise you to learn they earned a reputation for being the radical wing of the Patriots, rallying the people and sometimes losing control of them. A public protest in Boston turned into an angry mob that burned the governor's mansion. Some groups of the Sons were also known to tar and feather British officials and sometimes loyalists. You know, standard good guy stuff. What a really terrific way to blow off steam. Uh, of course. Well done, boys. That's a few down. Let's get the rest of them down. Can I incite a riot with this crew? Ah, thank you, Silent Dragon 99. Silent Dragon 999, I apologize. Welcome to the Arbonauts, man. I didn't know when they threw tea into the par into the uh, harbor they actually meant me. <laughs> Little known of the tea party was that Connor actually ended up getting thrown in also to the tea party group. I 
はいフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフ Totally should be. Oh, angry riot. Regular! Oh boy. That just got real. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea's being dumped. Let me help. I'm yours to command. Any more of these? Whoops. Oh god, it's getting a little crazy here. Hello. One more. There we go. What else we got going on? Hi. I did throw tea crates in the water, man. Pick it up! Jeez. Gotta do everything for these people. I think we got it. We've done it. 
Save Parvier. All the tea. That's a lot of tea gun. I kind of like tea, but... Oh! Charles Lee, you son of a... Gunner! We saved the last one for you. Look at that guy! He's like... Gur -gur -gur -gur. What's up, Charles Punk Lee? Right? What's up, Rez? Good to see you, man. See ya, Charles Punk. America! Uh, best we get out of here, huh? And that's how this all started. Ah. Man. Throw redcoats in the water, perform musket air assassinations. Yeah, okay. I did not do that. I did not do that at all. I really did not. Tea chest destroyed. I am still liking it quite a bit, Glove. Yeah, I definitely am. I love the freaking roll tomahawk chop. It's awesome. Tea chest destroyed. A most curious and remarkable event took place on Griffin's Wharf, Boston, Thursday, 16th December. An assemblage of individuals dressed in buckskin with faces painted in the fashion of Indian natives convened at the wharf and proceeded to board the Dartmouth, the Eleanor, and the Beaver in orderly manner. Faces painted in the fashion of Indian natives. I was the Indian native, all right? These Indians, and that's actually Native Americans to you, or perhaps no, as was the general discernment of those who witnessed these events, equipped themselves with small hatchets, which they denominated as tomahawks. <clears throat> These ships uh, held within their cargoes chests of tea numbering three to four hundred. The commanders of the vessels had publicly declared that if the rebels, as they were pleased to style the Bostonians, should not withdraw their opposition to the landing of the tea before the following day, they should on that day force it on shore to the cover of their cannon's mouth. Once aboard, the presumptive Indians opened the hatches and made to take out the chests of tea and threw them overboard, first cutting and splitting the chests with their tomahawks so as thoroughly to expose them to the effects of the water. In about three hours, they had thus broken and thrown overboard every tea chest to be found in the ships. During the time they were throwing the tea overboard, there were several attempts made by some of the citizens of Boston and its vicinity to carry off small quantities of tea for their family use. To effect that object, they would watch their opportunity to snatch up a handful from the deck, where it became plentifully scattered and put it into their pockets. Some of these same were met with kicks and hooting by the presumptive Indians. Earlier on this day, there was a meeting of the citizens of the county of Suffolk, convened at Old South in Boston, for the purpose of consulting on what measures might be considered expedient to prevent the landing of the tea, or secure the people from the collection of the duty. At that meeting, no satisfactory answer was obtained after inquiries were sent to Governor Hutchinson, and Mr. Adams concluded with the observation that the meeting could do nothing further to save the country. Beyond the chests of tea, there was no damage done to any of the ships. The destroyers of the chests were seen to sweep the decks clean of tea leaves after the chests had been thrown to sea. Notice they left that part out. There's no badass part where you're, like, swooping around, like, sweeping with your tomahawk to sweep the tea off the deck. I use an MXL 990 glove. And actually, hang on a moment. This webcam is slightly off. Give me a second. I apologize. Don't adjust your TV sets. That's more like it. There we go. Cool. I have three monitors, Clap. I have my main monitor, which is a 23-inch uh, Samsung, formerly my HDTV. And then I have a uh, Sony 19-inch to my left and a Samsung, I think, 19-inch as well to my right. Give me a second, folks. Just got to get my... Uh, just got to get this back working. This game does not like being all tabbed because they decided in their, Ubisoft decided in their infinite wisdom that there was no need to have a windowed mode in 2012 when this game came out because <laughs> why would you ever need mode for streaming ever? So, anyway. Apologies, give me a second. Uh, is it cheaper than the Blue Yeti? I 
don't know. I actually, uh, the guy that I do the Speculate podcast with, sorry guys, give me a second. Uh, this is taking me a bit. The guys that I do, um, really? There we go. Um, the uh, guy that I do the Speculate uh, podcast with actually just got a Blue Yeti. I'm pretty sure this was... I, I don't remember exactly how much this was because I've gotten it. I got it like probably four or five years ago now. When I got it, you could still look it up, an MXL 990. Um, if you got an MXL 990, if you looked that up on Amazon, it would tell you how much it is now. I want to say that I got it for... 125, 130, but it's a good mic. It was on sale at Guitar Center at the time. And my backup mic is a uh, Sennheiser. Yeah, an 835S is my backup. 65 inch, good grief, Snip. Okay, what's up, Inam? Welcome back. Tiny Face, are you bringing in Foom's Tiny Face? I see how it is. Boom's tiny face returns. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. So that's done. So we did the tea party. So that means that... What does that mean? I don't know. Ah, the MXL 990. Yeah, go ahead and click on that, and it'll show you how much it is now. That was one of the mics Inam was considering. He ended up going with another mic, which is cool. And now, of course, he desperately wants yet another mic to further his awesome micitude. What happened to my... Do I really not have anything else? Okay. Maybe I have to liberate more areas. So let me... um. I don't know. Let me go take care of this stuff, I guess. I'll see if I can get these almanac pages and then I'll head down here. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you know. Oh, man. I should just start using this and just the heck with Night Devs thing. I, I just hate having it captured like that. Oh, God. Come back. Come back. No. Nope. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I was just so annoyed that I missed the almanac page. I'm like Yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, having solid audio really makes a big difference. Yeah, now keep in mind, the thing about this mic is that this microphone plugs into an audio jack, not to USB. And in my opinion, most of the time, that's better. I think audio jack mics tend to be a lot better. There's less issues with configurations. They tend to cause less, if you have a, a computer that's a little bit, you know, not a powerhouse... Um, they tend to cause less processing screw-ups. Um, almost always when people have audio problems with a microphone, it often starts with them being a USB mic. So, I, I just happen to like that a lot. So, just keep that in mind that that's one real strength in my mind to this. I got one. Yes. I got it. Huzzah. It just stopped working again. 2500. No, no, no. MXL 990 is what I said. I have I don't remember what it costs. I want to say it was like 125, like 125 is probably what you heard me say. Not 2500. My god, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> good audio, like this audio, which I got for podcasting and everything else, is that set up first. Good audio is very important to me. It's not $2,500 important to me. I wish. $2,500 is going, like, to my family, my daughter. <laughs> you know, that's that's what it's going towards. It is decidedly not going towards... What? I don't know why this delivery request disappears so much, but that's fine. I was going this way anyway. Um, but yeah, that's that's where it's going, for sure. Not a microphone. And, um, yeah, a mixer, uh, an external mixer is helpful, and you, exactly, you don't need something super fancy. My audio equipment, you can see down below on the page, you can see the mixer that, uh, I have. I know people with better mixers, but I, I think this mixer is a good setup. I also have a compressor, a hardware compressor. And, um, the Windows mixer, the thing about that, love, is that, um, software mixers, if you can do a hardware mixer, it's better. The basic idea is the more that you can affect the input before it even gets into a computer having to process stuff, the better. Not only because it saves processing power again. See my comment about USB mics. Wait, start right. Hi. Go ahead and do a right. But also because um, I also... But also because it's a lot easier to deal with that than it is to deal with stuff in, you know, post-production, essentially. So, yeah. So, in general terms, um, the more you can do with hardware before the fact, before you get into software, the better. But, again, don't overdo it, though. I mean, really, I think a good quality mic is important. Um, but, as Inam said, you can get good mics for, you know, solid stuff before you start getting into mixers and compressors and all that kind of stuff. I literally, I would literally sprint to the guy. I'm like, bribe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly what Inam just said. Hey, what's up? Get that memo. How you been, man? Uh, the only problem with the Blue Yeti, again, though, it's at a USB mic. That's the only thing. A USB mic, again, to my mind, gets you into configuration problems. It's fine. It's fine. But I would get a mic that plugs into an audio jack. Everything else Inam said is totally right. Um... Including, I imagine you said something like that too. But a Blue Yeti is a USB, and I'm just not, I'm not crazy about USB mics. Unless you have to deal with them. And you can get cheap mics that are not about that. Alright, takes care of that. Mic with built-in voice modifier. Oh, that's cool. But, I mean, I can do voice modifiers from here. I happen to have, like, a nanoverb and stuff like that, which is how I get the echo of different kinds that I can adjust. Um, that's all stuff that I built in over time. Um, Logitechs are nice. Um, these headphones, though, and I actually have two pairs of them, so I'll show them to you guys. These headphones, which you'll see listed in my audio equipment right down there, are... Whoop! Bio Dynamics DT770s. Um... In my opinion, these are some of the best headphones still on the market, although they may not make this particular kind. I've had these for maybe six, seven years. These are the best headphones I've ever owned by a good way. Um, they are incredibly comfortable. They are they sound amazing. They're, these are great headphones. The only problem with them is, as Inam will tell you, the hot ear problem, because they are closed. Now, I happen to like closed, but they do cause a problem where if it's hot, you can overheat and the, the you know the ear things the ear cuffs can smell and like you know it's just 
So that's the only problem with them. But otherwise, I love, love, love these head these headphones. They're solid, solid as well. Ooh, nice, man. Good call, Memo. Thanks, dude. Oh, 990s. You with your 990s. Ni See, 990s are open style, for one thing. But 990s are good. I mean, buyer dynamic in general is awesome. I mean, there's no question. Like, buyer dynamics are badass. You did not consent to this. Go home. You're a great man. And bribe. Oh no no. <laughs> they may look they may look a little bit junky because I've had them for a long time. They are not junky. Trust me on that. These things are amazing. Alright, one more of these liberation missions. Alright, sounds good. Good night, Cherubi. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Um, wait a minute. Why are you drinking in front of the grave? Is that your dead husband, or are you just really... I... Yeah, and I'm and I'm within um, I guess it's for her homies. She's washing away her sorrows. Whoa. I don't even know. Um, you're a great man. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the nine nineties are definitely awesome as well. Don't get me wrong. I just happen to prefer closed, but open are good as well. Do I watch Stargate? Uh, the TV show? No. I, I did see the movie, and I saw maybe an episode of Stargate. I'm still bitter at Stargate because they canceled Farscape on sci-fi in one of the numerous horrific decisions that they always make, and for some reason decided to keep, um, decided to keep, uh, Stargate, which, why? Go home. You're a great man. Alright. Don't kill me. So I'm still bitter for that reason. <laughs> it's nothing personal against Stargate. It's just like It's just like, man, you got rid of this because what we wanted was more Richard Dean Anderson and not more freaking awesome Farscape. Although Farscape did eventually jump the shark, but there was a time when Farscape was amazing and Sci-Fi decided that they would cancel it. And even if it was jumping the shark, it could have made it back. And just no. Ah, but it wasn't just two people. It was British soldiers who were trying to conscript them into a war they didn't want to fight. I'm like the A-team, man. I was held up for a war. I just didn't commit. A crime I just didn't commit. Connor is 18. Listen, man. I don't mean to hate on Richard Dean Anderson, but when you take out Farscape, you got some issues. Don't mean to bother you. But I couldn't help but notice what you've done. Real good of you. What is happening here? Regulars have taken to conscribing the young ones around here. It's not right. I, I was thinking that maybe we could do some good together. 
if you had the time. What would you have me do? More of the same, actually. I got a plan cooking, but the folks need to know they've got someone to turn to. Find me when you're done. Okay. They're still conscribing kids all over. But I wager you've been off frying bigger fish. Yes, like feeding a turkey. That's how big a fish. Okay. Uh. Really? Is that the liberation mission all the way over there? All right. Well, let me hit up these two eagle eye eagle points and do my delivery and then, you know, do the liberation mission over there. Did they have another spin-off? I knew about Stargate 1 and I knew about Atlantis. Did they have another spin-off to Stargate? I just never felt like that sh I never I thought it was okay, but I always found the movie was like I was like, "Eh, movie's fine." It was a little derivative, I thought. I didn't see the big deal and then to do spin-offs, I don't know. I was like, does this really have the scope that something like Star Trek does? Like maybe. I don't know. Come with me, horse. I can commandeer you. Oh, the Liberty Tree. The first protest over the Stamp Act met under this tree in August of 1765. Shortly afterward, a pla <laughs> Oh, hi, turkey. A plaque was nailed to the tree, calling it the Liberty Tree. Some say the name was meant to discourage violence from the crowds that met here, but that would be like naming a battlefield Happy Glade Smile Farm and just crossing your fingers. <laughs> Eventually, a flagpole was installed in the tree, and the flag flown to summon people to meetings. Unpopular figures were hung in effigy from the tree's branches. The Sons of Liberty also used to issue summons to the tree for supposed crimes, i.e. supporting unpopular British decrees like the Stamp Act and Tea Act. The idea caught on elsewhere. Other towns designated their own Liberty Trees or put up Liberty Poles. In New York, there was an ongoing battle between the Sons of Liberty, who kept putting the poles up, and the British Authority, who kept taking them down, like an angry couple who can't decide whether the toilet seat should be up or down. True to the British pension for destroying anything the rebels love, soldiers and loyalists chopped down this tree during the siege in 1775. It was used as firewood, which was in short supply. Modern-day Boston is a plaque over the tree's former location, but the tree itself has never been replaced. So much for environmental sustainability. Are there really? Snip, I hadn't heard that. No kidding. Yeah, it was a pretty good mini-movie, but still, there wasn't any need to do it. No, you know what, Clap? It's funny. I love Star Trek. I'm a huge Star Trek fan. I watched, um, a co I've watched Doctor, I've probably watched at this point about six to seven Doctor Who episodes. I still don't get it. And, I mean, I've watched them from different eras. I watched the old school ones where it looks like a soap opera because it's, like, not film. It's, like, video grain or whatever. Um, and then I wa I just, I don't, I've never understood the appeal. I don't get it. I, I don't know... I don't get it. It always seems, first of all, I always feel completely lost. I feel like there's all these inside jokes and I don't know anything about what's going on. And it's got like 50 years of backstory, so guess who's not going to get involved in that? Secondly, they claim that it's family friendly. I don't know what families they're talking about, but I'll tell you what. There's not a chance my daughter's going to get anywhere close to that show for years because it is scary as hell. There's stuff in there where you're like an alien rips off his head and then like forcibly turn and the weeping angel, the blink angels or whatever they're called. Like that stuff is scary, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just for some reason, something I just bounce off that show. Something does not click with me in that show. And lots of friends of mine love it. And I know a lot of uh, authors who are big fans of it. I just something doesn't. I don't know. It's weird. I don't I don't really get it. Um, but again, like I, I know lots of people who love it, but I just don't I just don't get it. Um... Okay, I'm not going to do more with the tea party because I've already read about that. Desist, sir. What purpose? I'm talking about Doctor Who. I just don't. I just don't. Something about it in the show and me just don't click. I don't know. And I've tried it numerous times because I keep feeling like it's a. It sounds like a cool show. Like I should like it. You know. And I sometimes uh, I come down and you know my uh, wife will have it on BBC America, and we'll watch it. I'm like, what is this? i like, what? what is going on? And she's like, oh, this happened. And I'm like, okay, I don't... I don't know. Something about Doctor Who just does not click. Ooh, money. No. Come back here. Why is he running with a musket? Back, 
Thanks. I needed the money. And let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> Unnecessary leap over a fence. I'm out with the times. Not even Sonic. Connor. Perhaps predictably, Beacon Hill gets its name because the Puritan settlers placed a beacon on the hilltop. Beacon here essentially meant a bucket full of pitch hanging from a pole. The idea being it could be lit to warn the countryside if the town was attacked. Simple, effective, and never actually used. The hill is shorter today than it used to be. The top of it was carted off to fill in Mill Pond. This had the advantage of making the hilltop easier to build on and creating more land to Mill Pond, a two-for-one deal for developers. Beacon Hill became the place to live in Boston after the new Massachusetts State House opened here in 1790. Developers created upscale housing on the south side of the hill, which overlooks the Boston Common. The north side of the hill had been settled earlier and was much less posh, sometimes going by the evocative nickname of Mount Hordom. What a magical address. George Washington, never the politician, would refer to it in one of his letters as Mount Horum, though that sounds more like an instruction than a place. Uh, oh, man. There you go. I walk continuum? You mean want? Do I, I want continuum? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I get to go up the Beacon Hill. Beacon Hill Beacon. I'm sure they'll be huge fans of that. Oh god, dead. Not dead. Can you turn over, please? There you go. I know, right? I was worried about that, Shadow. I was concerned. <laughs> ah, can I make it? Leap of faith! That was kind of a... That was not that impressive. A, I mean, it just happened to be nice because it was on the hill, but really. My horse was not impressed. It's like, really? Really? That's a leap of faith, really? Alright, let's hit that one up. Alright, horse. You and me, bro. Somebody stop that man! Leave me be! I never agreed to be a soldier! Come back here! Come back here. Oh my god, dude, really? Yeah. Where you go, Duncan? There you Appreciate go. Leave me be. I never agreed to be a soldier. <laughs> But I'm sure they'll be back. <laughs> I'm just like, phew, pow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's up, Xanos? Oh man. Oh, where did these come together? Okay. Oh my god, these things, really? No, I need more recruits before I can do this stuff.
Alright, I'm gonna do this later. Awesome, Xanos. What'd you get, man? Yes. Yes. I was a little troubled. I was a little troubled. I'll admit to being a little troubled. Alright, I want to get that marker first. It's time I take him a horse. No, not at all, Xenos. Of course. Of course you can do that. What's up, Unholy Lover? What's going on, man? Yeah, of course you can pip that out. Naturally. <laughs> Divisor. Oh, thank God for that. Never have I been so grateful to learn something had nothing to do with me. Yeah. It's good of you to help, but these recruiters are relentless. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good times, good times. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Go no away. Yep, this is uh, Xenos' dream. He wants to build a restaurant. Or actually, he wants to buy a restaurant and get these uh, funders going. That's awesome, yeah. And then he's promised us all free meals for life. Whoop, hold on a second. Leave me back, I say. Thank you. Um, he's promised to uh, feed us all for life. So that's that's what he's done. Now that's interesting. That is awfully fast for rigor mortis to set in. That's not a natural angle for that arm to end up at. That's not. I don't even. It's been hard done by. I best leave. How? How did? What? How did that even? Pillaging right out here. You'll pay, fiend. That's really troubling there. Are you looting him, lady? Someone help me. I Oh. That that deserves a screenshot. Because for reals. All right, we gotta go back there. Let's do it. No, and again, I don't want to. Don't want to bring that body. Okay, excuse me. I'm gonna leave behind whatever the hell this is. I said just keep looking. Hey, have a care, drunkard. Nice, Thanos. Looks kind of cool, but it's bending the wrong way. Such physics so ragdoll. <laughs> Such tremendous physics.
Gunpowder Magazine. These buildings are used to store gunpowder, which is both a necessity in colonial America and extremely dangerous to have around. This is not a place you'd want to move next door to. Spilled powder, damaged barrels, improper airing of the building. Any one of these was hazardous, and a random spark could set off powder in the air or on the ground. People who worked in the magazines were warned to check their pockets for stray matches or made to wear clothes with no pockets to eliminate the possibility entirely. Their shoes had to be made without nails or covered with magazine slippers to reduce the risk of sparks. All the tools used in the magazines were made of wood and copper. Generally, powder magazines are built in isolated areas, like the one in the Boston Common. Of course, if you're inside a fort, you need your gunpowder to be close at hand, so the buildings are designed to collapse in on the fire and smother it, rather than spreading it outward. I probably don't need to tell you this, but you're not really just really allowed to smoke around here. Let's see. MP Tom 007? Is that your name? MP Tom? MP Tom 007. I think that's your name. Hopefully I've said it. Uh, I'm an Eastern Standard uh, Claptrap. Eastern Standard. M Tom 007. Your name is Awesome Guy. Right? That's how you pronounce it? Is Awesome? Hey! Well, I'm glad that I made your achievement. Welcome into the stream, sir. Your dependable watch commander offers a reward to any able to shed light on the whereabouts of this man. Just got to that guy in time before that guard saw me. All right. Now, hopefully, this is the uh, liberation mission to finish off this area, I believe. In today's Boston Gazette. Go around. Okay, cool. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad to hear it. That's cool. Welcome in now. Yay, I got to follow. I got it right, and I got to follow. Welcome to the stream, MP Tom 007. Welcome in, man. Welcome to the Arvanaut, sir, and thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. That is correct. I stream on um, I stream generally on Monday during the day, Thursday night and Friday during the day with an occasional fourth stream because it's the summer, although all that really means is my schedule is more flexible because I'm doing a lot of writing and such and conference and convention attendance as well, but Okay. And All right, I did your job. I hope that helped. Martial law. Welcome to the regular. Yeah, that'll the be awesome, Xenos. respected and revered fighting force on God's green earth. Some of you are here by choice. Others, not. Regardless of the circumstances of your joining us, you are all brothers now. And the only way you have a chance of surviving is if you trust your brothers. One weak link can kill a whole squad on the field. I want you to think about that long and hard. That's one of them that's responsible for this. Rounding up the young ones and shipping them off. We need to put an end to it. What is your plan? Uh, kill him, then the rest, and set all them boys free? It's a good plan, but it lacks detail. How is your aim with that rifle? You can pop a muskrat's head from a quarter mile nine times out of ten. And the ten's a misfire. I can hit a womp rat from... Do. Cover me from up there. There's one dead Templar leader. We assassins strive for peace through freedom and the Ha ha! They want only to control. 
Well, see you, Sniff. Freedom, I know that much. Yeah, it's fun, MP Tom. I'm having a good time with it, man. Rifle. Sign me up. Well done. Oh, yeah. Templar Freedom. Huzzah. Hey, Shadow. What's up, man? Makes him approximately 10 billion times better shot than every guard in this game. That's so true. Ooh, marksman ability. Nice. does not totally work the way it should but but we're getting there okay so that's good that took care of that so I'm gonna talk with this guy a little bit and then head up here pick up these finish that up and then I don't know where I'm supposed to go next actually because it's not as far as the main story is concerned so that's why I just want to liberate more of this place and by liberated I mean make it safe for the revolutionaries who still apparently hate me what's up ground, Connor. American Revolutionary. get in to talk to this dude? Can I go this way? No. How do I get in to talk to this dude? Okay. Guess I'm not going to talk to him then. Uh, Alright, so Eagle Marker is next. Let's get this stuff taken care of. Clipper Wilkinson recruited, Stefan Chapeau recruited, and the North District Duncan Little recruited. Sounds good, Clap. See you soon. No, I am not surprised, Annas. I am not surprised. I'm not sure I could be less surprised, actually. You just do not want to put a horse next to that post because when I'm around, it's going to disappear in short order. Yeah, no, I know. Just like it was the case in Brotherhood. I wonder if I actually... You know what? Now that I think of it... What I can't do, though, is I can't seem to get into that map. I don't know why. Like... That's that. There we go. 
All right, now that I got three. Man, I don't want to lose him, though. Let's see, New Hampshire. Nah, I'm not doing it with an 80% mission with, like, no return on investment. I need a couple more recruits first. Like an open world game? Not an MMO, right? MP Tom, I would assume. Something like, uh, Marvel Heroes or something like that. Would not fit the bill. Oh, gosh. That looks like my target. I'm gonna go assassinate that church. No, just kidding. That's not what I'm gonna do. Synchronized time. Oh, come back, my friend. Leap of faith. Come back. You need to give me your monies, monies. I need the cash monies, monies. Oh, another Canadian? Man, this chat's full of them. Love Shack's Canadian. Shadow's a Canadian. Keep back. Away, damn you. Tons of Canadians. Okay. Now we're going to get the courier mission. My horse following me up the hill now. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, you see that? I just ducked around. <laughs> I think I'm just going to keep tackling him. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just doing this for your own good. <laughs> and I'm Connor. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Law, what's up, bro? How you doing, Law? Samson are also... Oh, great, A California. I, I saw the C, and I thought you were saying you're Canadian. Yes, I was having too much fun doing that. Too much fun to repeatedly tackle someone that's really wrong of me and I apologize. But sometimes, you're trying to save the world, dealing with the Templars. You know, you gotta let off steam a little bit. Thank you. 500, that finished it off. Nice. Okay. Assassination contract and then this. How are we doing on time? Starting with my chat. <laughs> I, for one, welcome our new Canadian overlords. <laughs> I think I was supposed to do that. I got lucky. He, he's like, all right, you got it. That was really bad. I was worried that I might not get it if someone else killed him besides me. 
And I accidentally had summoned someone else to do it. Oh, hey. Look at that. Trinkets. Damn accurate those guns. I synchronize as guns are shooting at me from below. Good night, Amster. Finish off your investigation, boys. Nothing to see here. Well done, lads. All right. And let's see. Almanac page. Just working our way through Boston is what we're doing. Just working our way through. Let's, uh... Go to the Salmonac page, which... Let's go right back up there. God, man, really? Yeah, I got it. Woo! Thank you so much, Law. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no, it's a rebel. It's a Templar. It was a uh, assassin pig. That that pig was actually working for uh, working for the assassins. So yeah. There's a whole like like swearing pig in ceremony where it's like, you know, you have instead of hidden blades, you got hidden bacon. There's a whole like big ceremony that goes into it. It's a very big deal to be summoned as a as an assassin pig. Oh yeah, flintlock, whole bunch of stuff. Nice, because I got that. Uh, I got those chest keys now. All right, let's get this uh, almanac page. See you, Law. Thanks so much, dude. You went to your niece's softball game? Nice, dude. I hope you were nice to your niece. And you gave her support and encouragement. Yes! Got the almanac page. Yes. Let's hit that assassination contract. We're clearing things up here. I don't... I'm running out of things to do in Boston, so I really hope they have things elsewhere. Like, back at the homestead. I probably have to head back to the homestead is what I'm guessing. I'm just surprised it doesn't show me any of the stuff with the exclamation point, but... Maybe I've gotten enough stuff going on with the assassination contracts and stuff that... Uh,
that almanac page up. Yes, which team is less bad is very true. Hey, what's up, Lakota? Good to see you, man. Wow, nice, dude. That's awesome, man. St State of Indiana. Softball championship. Nice. Yes! Got it. Kapow. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's pick this up. One more of those assassination contracts over there. May not have anything else to say to him, but... True enough, true enough. I am the page master. Nope, don't want to play a game. Oh, that's where they used to meet, was right here. What the heck? What's going on with this, man? That's where they used to meet. The Templars used to meet right there. I recognize it. I don't think those contracts are doing anything at the moment, so... They're not really highlighted anyway. Budding Genius is nice. Is that like quiz, is that a, like quiz team type stuff, MP Tom? Oh, one of my guys. One of my boys, don't go away. I need to explain to you the finer points of hitting the ground hard. Come on, man. Hey, don't hit that guy. You don't want to do that. Especially that I can just do this. Thanks. Thanks for the money. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, okay. So, I got one more assassination contract. And then, I guess, just the almanac pages. So, let's do it. Gosh, I'm a long ways away. Time for horse. Off we go. Hello. Hello, lads. Really? Excuse me. Shot my horse? Thanks a lot, liberated bastards. They try to save a little time. And that's what we end up with. Crazy.
Paul Revere lived in this house with his family from 1770 to about 1800, with some notable exceptions, such as when he had to lie low because he'd worn the countryside of the British march on Lexington and Concord. What with the shortage of firewood in 1776 and the loyalist insistence on getting back at anyone who defied them in the past, you'd think this wooden house might have been torn down too, but it wasn't. This might be because Revere left his eldest son, also named Paul, in town to watch over the estate. In any event, the building is still around today. One of Revere's descendants bought it in 1905 and turned it into a museum. It's now the oldest building in Boston. In fact, it was already 90 years old when Revere bought it. Colonial architecture is apparently superior to that of your average McMansion. Well, ain't that the truth? Clipper Wilkinson, this guy. Clipper Wilkinson is a hunter and surveyor from Virginia. Actually, surveying and hunting are the family business. His father and brother are surveyors and crack shots as well, making the market in his small hometown somewhat oversaturated. Hell, making the market in his horse... Uh, horse. I was looking at Love Shack saying they shot your horse. House, somewhat oversaturated. Wilkinson moved to New York looking for work, unfortunately arriving just in time for the opening events of the Revolution. He remained neutral for the first part of the war, but after seeing the cruelty of the Redcoats' actions in Boston, he started leaning toward the, Red, uh, toward the Rebel's side, putting himself at odds with the rest of his family who were loyalists. It seems Connor has a talent for attracting friends with family troubles. Alright. Another trunket. How far the hell away is this thing? Good grief. Going, going, going to do my assassination. Going, going, going because I save a nation. Going, going, going to take out a Templar. Going, 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 because it is too far. Ho, oh, here I go, here I go. Connor is a-swimming, taking out a Templar, if it God is willing. I will get to him soon, then I'll take him down, and we'll all go have fun in the town. Hi. Have a good one. See ya. Alright. And... Almanac page. And away we go. You have Edge Connor singing that? Not very likely, I don't think. I don't see Connor singing that. I love all the wooden ships here, man. Just the attention to detail is just really gorgeous. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, I lost my, my friend. The friend who I always tackle. Hi, see you. 